Perhaps just take us through uh, Mawanda, the day's events as they unfolded. Well, we were at Kennedy Road in formal settlements in Durban where the mayor, along with the contingents of other municipal workers, descended onto. And there were quite a number of people that were there. There was also the departments handling informal settlements as well as infrastructure development in the city. Now, the aim was to go to densely populated areas and sanitize those areas and also try and work around the issue of them being overpopulated. So the mayor was in the lead going house to house house and sanitizing the doors and the locks. Now the rationale behind this is that an individual will go to various areas and touch various items and then come back, open their door and touch their lock. This then might transmit the virus in terms of, make, in terms of putting it on those um, surfaces. Neighbors as well may knock on your door, open your door and so forth. So the aim was really just to sanitize those surfaces that come into contact with people more often than not. The rest of the municipal workers that were there engaging in these activities were sanitizing the rest of the area from the exteriors of the houses to the very ground that they were walking on. So that was really the crux of this program that has been launched. In this community where it was launched, if we have no idea uh, in terms of what it's like, can you just paint a picture for us uh, what kind of conditions people are living in? Well, it is a densely populated area with a really small pathways for people to move around. It is an informal settlement and it's one house after the other. There isn't much room for people to move around in that area and people will come into contact with one another more often than not as a result of this. It's really a small cul-de-sac, so um, those types of things are inevitable in that situation. They have communal um, toilets, communal showers, bathrooms, where they will then also go to, and they're bound to meet at those areas as well as a result of how populated it is. It's not an ideal living situation or living condition, and that is what they are subjected to. But over and above that, the Human Settlements Department, which was also there, along with the municipality, have come up with a solution in terms of ensuring that people do get allocated to various houses through the housing projects within the city to try and deal with these issues. But that's not a solution that can put, be put into motion right away because there are waiting lists, there are developments that had already begun and there are people who will be allocated accordingly. But this is what the city is saying in terms of that. Let's also just take a listen to what the mayor had to say about today's operation. Firstly, as a city, we have a comprehensive human settlement plan. The plan uh, does not react on the coronavirus. It has been there and it is very productive because we have already started in the area where we are, Kennedy Road. Already there is, there is housing project that is already in progress and people are going to be relocated uh, to those houses that have already been built. And we are also targeting other informal settlements which we've identified a need to move with the speed in terms of expediting our own programs to move people to those uh, readily built houses. So a mammoth task uh, ahead of authorities there, but what was the sentiment within the community about this uh, sanitization uh, program? Um, the few community members that we were able to speak to were happy um, with this program and one of the things that made them happy is that over and above the sanitization there were issues that were solved speedily when the mayor arrived in the area. There were issues around toilets that were not operating. There were issues around pipes that were leaking and there was water on the ground which was contaminated and it, it had a, a bad stench to it. So because the mayor was in the area, he was then able to make one phone call and municipal workers arrived and they sorted out some of those issues that the community in that area had been facing. So for them really 
it was a situation of two birds being hit with one stone, having the sanitization on the one hand, also having issues that relate to service delivery being sorted on the spot promptly. Mm. Thank you very much to my colleague for that update, Mawande Keswa, out in KwaZulu-Natal for us.